We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Philadelphia Phillies and the San Diego Padres. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. So next to the plate for the Phils, Andrew McCutcheon. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Weather shouldn't be much of a factor. 71 degrees here at game time. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Myers is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. So striding in, Juan Ligaris. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The one-two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. The next one-two pitch. Nope, upside. On deck, there's Eric Hosmer. Liner towards second, but an Adam Bull right to him for the first down. First baseman Eric Hosmer is in, head to head at the start of play against Zach Eflin. Pretty good success. He's four for five. This one sinks low on a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. I don't know if that was a great take or he got fooled. He's certainly trying to play it off like he knew what was coming. You could bet he'd be on alert for that curveball again. Made a miss on the off-speed pitch that time. Eric Hosmer becomes out number two this inning. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And that'll get down for a base hit. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two-out base hit. Batting four. The shortstop. Fernando. So now to the plate, Fernando Tatis Jr. And that's in there, base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Batting fifth, the third baseman. In now, Manny Machado. And able to lay off the fastball the way here, two and one now. Grounder down the line at third. But this will wind up a foul ball, two and two. Two and two, the pitch. And a slider called strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger, and the side is retired. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. He'll get us started in the top of the second. A 1 1. A swing and a ground ball to third. Machado is there. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up Didi Gregorius. The 1 1 home is taken for ball two. Right on the corner, two and two. Fouled away. No score here as we play inning number two. Three and two now. And he gets a round on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. And this ball is gone. 
No chance to make a play on that one. Stepping in now, JT Real Muto. Two balls and two strikes to the Phillies catcher. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. The center fielder, number five. Nick. Standing in now, Nick Williams. Williams. And there's a line drive, base hit to left field. Batting it. The second baseman, Scott Kingery. At the plate now, Scott Kingery. Oh, it's hit to third, five. A tag for one, over to second now, and they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Will Myers. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. A ball and two strikes now. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. On the run is Williams. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Here's Brian Dozier now. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Count remains full. One out, nobody on. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And gone. An absolute bomb. Into the box now, Francisco Mejia. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. It's a fine line from working down in the zone on two and two and bouncing one in there that basically stands no chance at getting swung at. Right there, he basically spiked that one right into the dirt, and now he has to find the zone on a 3-2 pitch. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a wall. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. To second for one. Relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. Here's Juan Ligares. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Davies is off of first with two away. Two and one to Juan Ligares. Line toward center field. Williams is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So here now is the pitcher, Zach Eflin, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. And it's fouled away. The one two. Line toward right center. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. Now batter. The shortstop. Gene Segura. To the plate now. Gene Segura. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Philly shortstop in front of the count three and one. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be. But now you find yourself in a three one count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone or do you just pitch around it? That misses. So a single and a walk. And it's first and second with nobody out. And that misses two and one. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. A 3 1 count to the Phillies left fielder.
Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. You can bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Fouled off. The 3 2 one more time. And he lays off their ball four. So back to back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Digging in now for Philadelphia. Bryce Harper so far 0 for 1 with a fly out. Almost, Maddie. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certain. Oh, and he can't reel it in out there. He'll come home with it. They get the force at the plate. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The 1-2. Gets the outside corner, strike three. So our situation as the base is loaded. Two men out. And here's the left-handed hitting shortstop, Didi Gregorius now. The 1-1. One, one. Bases are loaded here, two down. Now this is on the ground a second. Is he going to get out of this? He is. They get the force at second base, and the inning is over. Eric Hosmer to the plate now. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. The batter, the left fielder, Tommy. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. 2-2. The Ground ball sent back up the middle, and that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one-out hit. So now to the plate, Fernando Tatis Jr. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Well, a 3-2 count in a guy that handles the bat up at the plate. This is a great time to put that runner on first in motion. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three the first innings. Base, the Here's Manny Machado Manny. now. First time up, he went down looking. Machado. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. A dive, and oh, he can't hang on. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Standing in now with runners in scoring position, Will Myers. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. A one and two count to Will Myers. You know, this isn't a ballpark that yields a lot of runs. So when you've got a chance like this to put some early. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three. And that will retire the side. set for the start of the fourth and that'll bring in the veteran catcher JT Real Muto ready with the 1 1 pitch soft liner towards first but no problem at first and that's the first out so one away here with the bases empty and digging in at the plate the Texas native Nick Williams the 1 2 popped him up Mejia over to his right. 
He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. So stepping oh, in, Scott Kingery. Scott Kingery. The 1-1 one, one home. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Lagar is giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth, and that'll bring up the power hitting second baseman, Brian Dozier. Yeah, man, this guy flexed his muscles in that last at bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. The 2 2 one more time. It's offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that will bring in the catcher, Francisco Mejia. Mejia. Ripped down the first base line. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. Digging in now for San Diego. Zach Davies comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Hits are now even at four apiece. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. All ready to go in the top of the fifth, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Zach Eflin. A one ball, two strike count to the Phillies pitcher. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Zach Eflin goes down for the first out in the fifth inning. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. On deck, there's Andrew McCutcheon. He'll hit next. And a full count now, three and two. Three balls, two strikes. Line drive to center field. Lagares is there, two gone. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. Andrew McCutcheon. Too high, and that cost him ball four. And Bryce Harper will dig into the plate. Bryce Harper. Working for the punch out and the offering. Got him swinging and that will end the inning. Bottom of the inning now and that'll bring up a former gold glover. Here's Juan Ligares. 1-1. Is laid off for ball two. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Stepping up to the plate, Eric Hosmer. And he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. 3-2 pitch. Hit in the air out to left field. McCutcheon is right there. And he's got it for out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, it'll be the outfielder, Tommy Pham. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. The two two. 
Fernando Tatis Jr. would be next. And that misses for ball four, and the Friars are going to have themselves a two-out base runner. So it's a runner at first with two gone, and up steps the big bat of Fernando Tatis Jr. 1-1. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. Hit hard but fouled as this ends up over by the first base dugout. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and that'll bring up Reese Hoskins. 1 1. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Now One out for the Phils in their half of the sixth. And that'll bring up Didi Gregorius. And that's into the corner a foul ball and right. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. Smoked on the ground left side. And he's going to beat the offline throw to first as the first baseman couldn't get the foot back in time. So a runner at first now with one away, and that brings up JT Realmuto. Hit back toward the mound. He's got it. Dozier. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. The center fielder, number five. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And digging in at the plate, the Texas native Nick Williams. The 2-1. A shot down the first baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Runner, runner, Open to runner. send him packing. Pitch on its way. Pitch outside. The throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Robert Stock enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. For the Philly, number 89. Robert. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And next will be the imposing power bat, Manny Machado. Full count, three and two. Will Myers is on deck. Drives it out to deep right center field. After it is Williams. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Next to the plate for the Padres, Will Myers. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. And you can live with punching out with the bases empty, but in his last at-bat with two runners in scoring position, you cannot go down not putting the ball in play. Too much on the line, too many ribby opportunities out there to swing and miss in that spot. The one and two pitch. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Williams is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Now Into the box now. Brian Dozier. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, but it was a good change of Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. And here's the 3-2 from him. Now a ball lined toward the gap in left center. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Luis Perdomo is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. 
Trent Grisham is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Batting nine, number two, Trent. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Neil Walker will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Neil Walker. Walker lays off there. It's two balls and a strike. Into the corner and slicing foul. Bases are empty, one man out. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. The battle, number two. So a runner at first now with one away, and that'll bring in Gene Segura. Now the three and two pitch. Hard hit ball to short. And a backhanded try into the hole that's short, but this gets on by. And with that, the go-ahead runs up to second now with only one away. The left fielder, number 22. At Andrew. the plate, Andrew McCutcheon. McCutcheon. Chopper foul. Boy, the Phillies have been looking for some offense all game long. They've yet to find it. Let's hope they can find it pretty soon. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Fam is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Stepping up now, Bryce Harper. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Harper. Here's the 2 1. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitchers fall behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. And that misses for ball four. So the potential go ahead run moves over to third now. One run, five hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. And he has broken this one open as this is down for extra bases. It's cut off, so all three runners are in to score. So with a left-handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. In now, Didi Gregorius. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Looks at a fastball inside, so he's in the driver's seat, three and one. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind two and oh doesn't exactly help the situation very much. And he misses ball four, so he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. To one and two now. Hit on the ground out to short. Short way to Dozier, and the side is retired. Jose Alvarez gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 52. Last half of the seventh here, and next to hit is the catcher, Francisco Mejia. Hard on the ground toward short, and a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. The right fielder, number two. Right. Standing in now, Trent Grisham. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Chasing after it is Williams. He's there and records the first down. The San Diego batting order turns over and set to go. Juan Ligaris. He was a ground out victim last time. Up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this. Thing. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over.
Matt Strom has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 55. Ball set for the start of the inning, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Nick Williams. On that fastball's too much for him there, one and two. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. He'll try again, one, two. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. High in the air out to center field. Ligares is under it. Makes the play one away. Settling in now, Scott Kingery. It could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him, and I doubt there was any intent behind that. Davy Grion will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with the runner at first and one gone in the inning. Eighth inning, four to one is our score. In the air now, out to left. Pham is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Gene Segura. Gene Segura. Here's a fly ball, well hit. Ligares on the run. He's not going to have a play on it, and this might bring home the runner from first. And they'll add one more to the lead. It's now a 5-1 to one ball game. The left field, number 22, Andrew. Stepping in now, Andrew McCutcheon. And he fouls this one off. Fly ball right down the line and left. Left fielder is on the move. Into the corner. He makes the catch to end the inning. Sir Anthony Dominguez is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 58. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And here comes the first baseman, Eric Hosmer. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Eric Hosmer becomes the first out in the bottom of the eighth inning. And that's taken for a cold strike two. Dominguez offers up perhaps one of the nastiest sliders around, and it won't be uncommon to see a lot of off-balance swings against it and it'll be easy to see why once you see it come out of his hand. He's got a huge break on it. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Tommy Pham becomes out number two this inning. Two and one the count. Now here's the pitch. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Lifted down the line and left. And no one will get this one. Payoff pitch home. On he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. And off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. Into the box, Manny Machado. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. And a full count as that misses. It's 3-2 and two now. You know, you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on a 3-2 count. With the three-run lead, no one on base, 
This is the perfect situation. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Jose Castillo will come on to pitch here, and he'll move into the number five spot in the lineup now on the double switch. Greg Garcia is into the ball game as well as a part of that aforementioned double switch as he'll take over in the number six spot in the lineup. The 1-1 home. He swung on and missed for strike number two. Castillo, a Venezuelan-born ball player, he's in his third season as a major league player. Swung on and missed. Really fooled in that time for the first out. The first baseman. So here's the cleanup hitter, Reese Hoskins. And he had that big three-run bases clearing double in his last trip to the plate. The count now at two and one. And now a pitch on the way. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Swing by Hoskins, and this is driven to deep left. Looking up is the left fielder, and it's gone as they add still another. At the plate now, Didi Gregorius. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Digging in. JT Realmuto. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Fouled away. Two out, nobody on. Oh, and this one's driven the other way and deep to the corner. But that'll be off the right field wall. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. The center fielder, number five, Nick Williams. So now to the plate, Nick Williams. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. You know, I kind of see why his ERA is so high coming into this one. He's just putting these guys in too many good hitters counts. That'll catch up with you real quick. Full count now, three and two. Ready with the payoff pitch. And that misses, ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Ready for another chance? Scott Kingery. He was drilled by a pitch his last time up. Yeah, Maddie, you're not lying. Last time up, squared right in the back. Hopefully it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there, and now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at-bat if they want to get back in this thing. Austin Davis will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Adam Hazley will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Number 40, Adam Hazley. Down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. The one two. I got to count two and two. Grounded back up the middle. Kingery's there. And there's one away. Brian Dozier at the plate. He's working on a one for three thus far. Count still at one and two. Now the pitch. Two balls, two strikes.
takes this the other way to right. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. Now that the catcher. Into the box now. Francisco Mejia lifted into center field. Hazley is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Hector Neris will make an appearance here as he is in charge of trying to ring up the final out of the ball game. Trent Grisham will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. Now the one and one pitch. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s down in the zone. Looks like swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Yeah, and they know this is going to be a tough stretch on the road. To win the first game of the series has got to feel pretty good. Something to build on for tomorrow. And tonight's ends at a 6-2 to two finish. Philadelphia used a three-run seventh to help propel them to the win. Robert Stock gets the win in relief, his sixth of the season. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. score tonight. First for the victorious Philadelphia Phillies. Six runs, nine hits. No errors. They left 12 men on base. For the Padres, two runs, seven hits, one error. They left eight runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and four minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.